I'm Marlene Davis, and I've been a member of FBC since um, 1993. Well, I'm going to share um, two times, actually. One is I was um, waiting for a diagnosis about my daughter, had an MRI, and um, the second one is a diagnosis about my husband. He had a mass on his arm. Okay, well, the first one, my daughter um, went in for an MRI and the doctor had said that there was something in her brain and he said it could be epilepsy or it could be a brain tumor because she was having seizures. And he said, pray for, pray that it's epilepsy. And of course, that's the way I prayed. And um, the second one was my husband, a few years later, had this mass on his arm. And again, we had to wait for the diagnosis. And I was just praying it was not cancer. Up until that time, I had a pretty good family life and hadn't had a cancer in our family. Things were going great. And when this happened, um, it changed everything. So my daughter, was um, diagnosed with a very deadly brain cancer or brain tumor called glioblastoma and at that time she was given 16 months to live and um, two years later my husband was diagnosed with another rare bone cancer and he was just given a couple years to live the day that Steffi came home and had gotten the news that it was this glioblastoma she sat us down and I still remember her voice and she said mom and dad I have spent most of my life not being thankful not being grateful and she said with what time I have left on this earth I'm going to choose to be thankful I want to read 1st Thessalonians 5 16 through 18 rejoice always pray without ceasing give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And I can remember her sitting in her chair, thanking and praising God and just spending time with him those remaining years that she had. And she encouraged so many people on Facebook and um, with her blog. And one of the things that she did was introduce me to the word Eucharisteo, which she bought this for me about a year after she was diagnosed. And I, I just keep it as a remembrance. Eucharisteo is a Greek word, and to borrow from Ann Voskam, her book, Eucharisteo means thanksgiving, and the Greek word chara means joy. So one of the things that Stephanie taught us with her life those remaining years was to give thanks in hard times. The greatest thing to give thanks for everything, he who has learned this knows what it means to live. He has penetrated the whole mystery of life, giving thanks for everything. So during those years, God gave her not only 16 months, was all that she was given, she was able to live about four and a half years. And that was just a beautiful testimony. It was very painful, it was very hard watching her um, deteriorate, but I have that legacy now today that she taught us about giving thanks in all things. And my husband too joined in giving thanks when he was diagnosed a couple years after Stephanie with his cancer. And um, Stephanie passed away and just seven weeks after Stephanie passed away, my husband passed away. And so the day that he lay dying in the, hosp in the hospice bed, my other two daughters and I were reading scripture to him. It was my turn to read and I walked in the room and had some time alone with him. And I first read Psalm 138 then I read Psalm 139 and I finished the psalm and I looked back at the top of the page and something just moved me to read these verses one more time. Psalm 139 verses 13 through 16. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance, and in your book were written every one of them, 
the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. And as I finished that verse, I looked at my husband and he took his last breath. And I just said, well, you're coming back, aren't you? And I realized, no, he was, he was heading to heaven. He was going. And just a still small voice spoke to me and said, look at that verse. I looked at it again and that still small voice said to me, just remember this the rest of your life, that I have the days chosen for every one of you. And so yes, this affected my life in a different way and I, I just wanna share with people that God knows our days and we're numbered and let's give thanks for everything because he is God and in charge of everything.